Hello everyone, and welcome to Grand Theft Auto V Vehicle Showcase. This is a new series I'm starting, where I'll be showcasing one prominent or your requested vehicle featured in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm Nick, your host, and welcome to Vehicle Showcase. What miracle did you want me to perform? In the inaugural episode, we'll be taking a look at the Feister Comet, one of the most outlandish and compact luxury sports cars featured in the game. Available for sale in single player at Southern San Andreas Superautos.com for $85,000 and online at LegendaryMotorsport.net for $100,000, this car is notably more affordable than other, more flashier vehicles such as the Pagrassi Monroe and Rapid GT Convertible. Normally this drop in price would result in a drop in quality as well, but you'd be surprised at just how competitive it is compared to the other sports cars you're thinking about stealing while you're strolling through Vinewood. While the official credentials boast a 3.1 second 0 to 60 speed, my own in-game tests have shown that this number is actually closer to 5 seconds, which is still fantastic. It also breaks from 60 at just around 2 seconds, which is great for those wanting a pristine car from start to finish and need to make hard stops. Solid reverse driving handling and reverse speed of up to 35 miles per hour also help out tremendously in tight spots against police, gangs, or the angry 40-something bald guy you just stole this car from. During my normal road test with the Comet, I found it to have great acceleration like many other sports cars in the game. It was responsive to the taps I made on my right trigger, and always stayed at a sustained speed. The handling, however, was not the best, and this is probably the biggest downside. When turning, or even simply going on any of the many dirt roads that make up the northern half of San Andreas, I had trouble not only turning, but staying on the road itself, even at a relatively stable speed. Even on this relatively safe road, the car had difficulty staying straight, much less secure. But handling tends to be an issue for most vehicles known for their speed rather than their sensibility. You can only expect so much from a car with twice the meat and half the fat as your grandma's old sedan. Our highway and police tests were perhaps the most promising for the Comet yet. Contradicting what we found on the typical roads, at high speeds the Comet excels at weaving in and out of traffic on the many Los Santos highways the game is known for, and will regularly hit the miles per hour cap of 120, something I couldn't even get to on a straight runway. When fleeing from the police, the jacked up engine of the Comet allows for the driver to not only escape most low level cop cars, but also lap their buddies that enter the chase later on. The car can also take quite a beating too, having survived a botched jump from the top of a cliff, several head on collisions with police vehicles, and lord knows how many close shaves with civilian cars on the highway. There is a problem here though, normally police vehicles that I hit didn't exactly get out of the way when I hit them at breakneck speeds. Instead, I would normally get spun out of control by the smallest tap from one of my pursuers. As a getaway vehicle, it would take a while to master the Comet and its shoddy record for collision recovery. Through it all though, it'll keep going, as long as you don't piss off the cops along the way. Online, the car has a $15,000 increase from its campaign counterpart, and we can't figure out why. The cars are exactly the same, save for some possible cosmetic changes we didn't notice, and using the car against other players isn't exactly recommended either. Sure, it's fast and will probably blow whoever you just ran over sky high, but if they step a few feet to the left, you'll miss them, and if you try to adjust to hit them again, you might just spin out. Also, with it having only two seats, you and your crew might need another two or three of these puppies to get anywhere at all. The Feister Comet is certainly an interesting vehicle, and will catch the attention of any casual player running around Los Santos. It serves its purpose well, it has many great customization options for its price, and is a tough and maneuverable vehicle at high speeds, taking plenty of hits and avoiding even more along the way. 
Its poor handling, poor torque, and lack of extra seats for the rest of your friends online, however, make it a rather questionable choice as a getaway vehicle. If you're interested in robbing every store on the block, the Comet might not be for you. However, if you're more fond of single player than multiplayer, and just want a nice sports car to cruise around in at high speeds, I definitely recommend dropping the 85k needed to get this Enigma. I'm Nick from Final Cut Gaming, and thanks for watching.